Hi there, in this video we are going to discuss unique pointer, one of the pointer uh, which is available in C++11 onwards and being recommended to use instead of raw pointers. So see, unique pointer is also part of a smart pointer like shared pointer and this is the basic usage of it. Okay, so if I just run this code, so it, it prints a constructor and destructor so that here, once I create a unique pointer, it creates, it creates the instance of this object. It goes out of the scope, it deletes it. That's, that's the basic unique pointer. But what is unique about it? There is another pointer called shared pointer. I'll request you to see my video on that. Now, in unique pointer, if I create another unique pointer, let's say up2 and assign it to up. So if I just try to run it, let's see what happens. It says build failed because Unique pointers are unique. So that, that's where the name come up. You can do this thing with shared pointer, but not with unique pointer because you cannot share it with anyone. You cannot transfer the ownership or share the ownership of a single object. It's unique and that's where the name comes from. And that's why it's called unique pointer. Okay. <clears throat> now this is the one thing about unique pointer. Now other thing is that Let's say I'm creating a function uh, which is returning unique pointer and I'm, I'm doing this call over here, okay? And right now, let's say I'm just returning null pointer, nothing else. So, and just for the sequence, I'll say enter main, I'm calling the function and I'm saying exit main. Now if I run the program, let's see what happens. So it says enter main as expected, then call the function which calls a unique pointer and it doesn't return, then destructor is called over here and exit main gets called. Now let's say what happened that instead of null pointer, I'm actually returning a, uh, this uh, unique pointer. And I am taking this unique pointer over here. Let's say up3 equal to function. And let me run the code. Now you can see that uh, this uh, sequence has changed. The inter main happened as expected. I call the function unique pointer happened. Now since I am taking a unique pointer over here, it doesn't call the destructor, it calls exit main. And when this comes out, it calls the destructor. And let's see if I don't take anything just like shared pointer, is it behaving the same way? Yes, it is. And here it calls the constructor as well as destructor because there is no unique pointer to take it back. So let me get back that code. Okay. Now you'll ask me a question. What is the difference between this unique pointer returned over here and this line? Isn't it same? Yes, it is same, but the thing is that you can achieve this unique pointer transfer by using move semantics, std move. So what happens that once you do a move, this guy doesn't keep the ownership, unlike shared pointer which it, uh, where it will also keep the ownership, this guy will not keep the ownership and this code will run. So the ownership is moved from here to here. And now what happened in this function? As per, as per the C++ standard, it's implicitly move. So compiler actually convert it like this. And that's the reason this code works about unique pointers. Okay. Uh, and unlike shared pointer, there is no make unique as of now. Uh, maybe we'll expect it in later standards. And that's all about unique pointer. And this is all the permutation and combination which will be used for unique pointer. If you want to learn more about it, I have a GitHub page for this and uh, uh, I'll be giving the link in the description it is actually uh, showing the things in the same way I have explained it to you explained it to you in this video so that's pretty much it I hope you have learned it and thanks a lot for listening and tuning in good day